New quest available. <gasps> Flying class? Well, hello, my lovely wizards and witches. Welcome back to my Hogwarts Legacy gameplay series. I'm excited because this is the moment I have been waiting for. Getting my broomstick and also magical beasts. I want magical beasts. Is it time? It is time. Ah! People fall from their broom first. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. <laughs> Who do you think will fall first? Oh! Mr. Clotten, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Oh. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. <laughs> we'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. <laughs> not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, Step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up, up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. <laughs> a gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Ooh, we're flying. Good. Now. Okay. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. This is brilliant. Nice balance. This will take some getting used to. So cool. Yay. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Um. Mm. This next set of rings will uh, take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Hold R2. What a view. Hello. Nice day for a flight. This is so cool. Oh wait, I'm gonna miss it. Ah! Okay. Oh, <laughs> good. I've got this. I hit the ring. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Guys, this is amazing. resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> Yay. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Mm, what? But I'm getting ahead of myself. 
We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Won't we get in trouble? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. I mean... Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, where are you going? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Hufflepuff? A bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Right. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Uh, L2? <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Uh... There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And Meowlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Quidditch. Where is he? Oh, what's up? That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Like already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. How do I get down? Dismount here. Here we go. And where have you two been? Nowhere. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you <laughs> for not following my instructions. <laughs> Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you. <laughs> You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Wait, do I get my own broomstick? Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Eh. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Okay. Yay, flying class. Hogs need wizard gear, sporting needs. Let's see if we can get a broom. Let's sell. Hogs need here I come. Professor Wheat, no. Or as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. Professor Weasley, no. Not right now, I'm trying to... shopping. <laughs> what is this? Bingle and Blatch? 
all of Anders. What is this? Ah, new face. Wonderful. Yes. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since oh. trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new brand? Yes. Got a few rare U weavers available. Ember Dash, Silver Arrows. Wind Wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. What else can you share? But do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take Wind Wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. U weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the U1's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Have a look, thank you. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around, thank you. Let's see if I could actually get a broom. What are we looking for today? Which one should we get? Okay, let's sew one of these ugly goggles. So. Nice doing business with thank you. Thank goodness, okay. Which one should we get? I don't know. Um, preview broom. That item is of the highest quality. Eh, preview broom. Cool. That item is of the highest quality. Mm. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. Hmm. Let's see, either the Ember Dash or the Yi Weaver. This actually looks really cool. Let's go with this one. The Yi Weaver broom. Purchase. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts oh. student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Okay. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special mm. price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Cedar gloves. Gear? Do I have better? Ooh, great. Better gloves. Broom! How do I whip out my, um, broom? Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Broom! Oh! I could fly on a beast? Oh my gosh. Love. If it isn't Slytherin's newest brim talent. Hello, Melda. Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. 
I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what <gasps> I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying <clears throat> class with Clopton. You sound jealous. If she's gonna be better, let's... Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you. <laughs> Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Ooh. Pff, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. <gasps> ah! Okay, wait. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? This is rather fun. Ah! No! One. No! I that was in. Oh! I missed two! No, I was totally in. I don't know what you guys are seeing. Made it! Oh! Oh no! Are you serious? Oh my gosh! This is rather fun! Excellent! Oh darn. Did not beat it. Do I have to pop back? Glad to see I'm still the reigning champion. But what say you? Want to try again? Ready when you are. Made it! <laughs> now that's more like it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. that threw me off okay no could have done better Excellent. 
Did I win? Ugh, that's not... Y you must have cheated, you... Ugh. Fine, you won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want your respect. I don't want <laughs> respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. Return to Alby Weeks any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Maybe I could go to the hairdressers and change my hair. Oh, you're back! We've something to report, I yep. hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Who has doubted you? Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome, runs a shop like Rome. mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what <laughs> I hear. And where would Same. we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Where is... Yay! Zonks. Oh, is this uh, Fred and George's future <laughs> shop? Oh, kitty, we always have to stop and pet the kitty. Okay, where is the hairdresser? Not really feeling the pink hair anymore, so. Ah, oh, hello. And how would one like to be styled today? Different. Hello. Oh, come in! Come in! Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly! Why aren't you studying to be an aura? <laughs> but I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. You go, girl. Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. What? I can certainly see why you paid no. me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? A change? Why not? Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. Allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if yeah, you'd yeah, like. Yeah. What services do you offer? What is it you might be interested in? Oh. Okay. I really do not love any hairstyle. <laughs> Let me know what I should do with my character, because I don't love her. You take care now, and I shall hope to see you soon. 
Oh my gosh, wait, I hate it. Wait. <laughs> wait. Now I want the pink back. Oh my gosh. No. I don't think that was a good move. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. Let's see if I can buy some stuff to make my character look good. Lumos. Can't see anything. Blind. This one? Oh yeah. Please, uh, come in. I remember you. Let me know if you need help finding anything. I don't like that. What is this? Rose. There's actually nothing good. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Uh, Be sure to stop by whenever I you I don't about. like how I look. <gasps> Hogsmeade, here I come. No! I want the magical beast. Yay. Oh! What's he doing? What's wrong? What happened? He's doing yoga? I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh no, he's reading. Can I speak to him? This is very odd. Hmm. It's in here. What do you mean my gear slots are full? Revelio, 